हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिजाइन ऑफ माइक्रो प्री प्रोसेसर लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन द डिफरेंट टेबल्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्री प्रोसेसर नाउ हियर दिस इज द स्कीमैटिक ऑफ द माइक्रो प्री प्रोसेसर सो फॉर द इनपुट इज गिवन टू द माइक्रो प्री प्रोसेसर इज द असेंबली प्रोग्राम विथ माइक्रो डेफिनेशन एंड कॉल्स सो हियर द माइक्रो प्री प्रोसेसर ट्रांसलेट दैट प्रोग्राम एंड इट जनरेट्स द प्रोग्राम विदाउट माइक्रो डेफिनेशन एंड माइक्रो कॉल्स सो दिस प्रोग्राम इज गिवन एज अ इनपुट टू द असेंबलर असेंबलर जनरेट द टारगेट प्रोग्राम फॉर द गिवन असेंबली प्रोग्राम विदाउट माइक्रो डेफिनेशन एंड माइक्रो कॉल now next we see the data structures of the micro preprocessor there are nine data structures are there that are used in the micro preprocessor so here here there are two fields are there tables and the fields in each table so for the the first table is the micro name table so it is represented mnt and in the second column they represent the fields in the respective table so in the mnt table there are seven fields are there first field is the micro name second field is the number of positional parameter it is represented by the variable hash pp third is the number of keyword parameters it is represented by the variable hash kp the next field is the number of expansion time variable it is represented by the hash ev next field is the mdt pointer micro definition table pointer it is represented by the variable mdtp next field is the keyword parameter default table pointer it is represented by the variable kpdtp and the last field is the ss tab pointer means sequencing symbol table pointer it is represented by the variable sstp so this is the first table now the second table is the parameter name table it is represented by the pn tab it is having only single field parameter name the third table is the expansion time variable name table so it is represented by evn tab and it is having only single field ev name means here we specify the expansion time variable name next table is the ss name table sequencing symbol name table again it is having the single field sequencing symbol name next table is the keyword parameter default table it is represented by kpdt tab it is having the two fields parameter name and the default value now the next table is the micro definition table it is represented by mdt it is having the three fields label opcode and operands now the next uh, next table is the ev table expansion time variable table so here the the value of the expansion time variable is stored so here it is having only single field value now the next table is the actual parameter table so it is represented by ap tab so here we specify the actual value of the parameters next table is the ss table it is represented by sequencing symbol table it is having only single entry mdt entry hash now next we see the example so here this is the micro definition so in the given micro definition the name of the micro is clear m it is having the three parameters ampersand x ampersand n and ampersand register so here ampersand x and ampersand n are the positional parameter and the ampersand register is equal to a register is the keyword parameter now first table we built is the pn tab parameter name table so here we specify the parameter name in the given table so here there are three parameters are there and the name of that parameter is x n and register so we enter that parameters in the pn tab so first we enter the x next we enter the n and next we enter the register so this is the pn tab parameter name table now next we generate the table keyword parameter default table so here we specify the name of the parameter and its default value so here the name of the parameter is register and it is having the default value a register now similarly next we here we see the micro call for the given micro so here the name of the micro is clear m it, the first actual value is area and the second actual value is tail now next table we built is the actual parameter table so here 
the first formal parameter is x. So, here the x formal parameter is having the actual value area and the second formal parameter is n, it is having the actual value 10 and the register is having the default value a register. So, here we enter the actual values in the given table actual parameter table. So, here first we enter the area, next we enter the 10 and next we enter the a register. Now, similarly we process the next statement LCL ampersand m. So, here LCL ampersand m is creates the local expansion time variable and the name of that variable is m. So, here we enter that variable in the table evn tab expansion time variable name table. So, here we enter the name of that variable, the name of that variable is m. Now, the next statement we process is ampersand m set 0. So, here the set statement assigns the value 0 to the expansion time variable m. So, we enter into that value into the table ev tab expansion time variable table. So, we enter the value 0 in that table. Next, we generate the table ssn tab sequencing symbol name table. So, for the given micro definition, there is a one sequencing symbol is there and the name of that sequencing symbol is more. So, here we enter that name of that symbol in the table sequencing symbol name table. Now, next we generate the table micro definition table. So, here 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 these are the micro definition table pointer values. Now, here first we process the statement LCL ampersand m. So, for this statement we generate the specification. Here first of all we write the LCL as it is and for the ampersand m. See ampersand m is what? It is the expansion time variable. For the expansion time variable we generate the specification in the form e comma hash n. So, e indicates it is the expansion time variable and a hash n it indicates the entry number of that symbol in the given table. So, here e is it is the expansion time variable and here 1 indicates entry number of that symbol in the evn tab. So, here ampersand here ampersand m means the m symbol it is enter in the table at first. So, that is why here we specify 1. Similarly, we process the next statement ampersand m set 0. So, again for ampersand m we generate the specification e comma 1, next we specify set and next we specify 0. Now, the next statement we process mu r ampersand register comma equal to 0. So, here first of all we specify the operation code mu r as it is. Now, here ampersand register again for the register also we generate the specification p comma hash n. P indicates it is a parameter and hash n it indicates the entry number of that parameter in the table. So, here for that we generate the specification p comma 3. So, here p indicates it is a parameter and 3 indicates the entry number of that register symbol in the given table. Now, next we specify equal to 0 as it is. Similarly, we process the next statement more mu m ampersand register comma ampersand x plus ampersand m. So, here first of all we specify the operation code mu m. Next we generate the specification for ampersand register. So, again register is what? It is a parameter. So, here we specify p comma 3. 3 indicates entry number of that formal parameter in the table. Now, next is what? Ampersand x. Again x is the parameter. So, for that also we generate the specification in the form p comma hash n. So, here p indicates it is a parameter and hash n means what? It is the entry number of that parameter in the table. So, here we specify the 1 because the x, x parameter is entered in the table at first position. So, that is why here we specify 1. Now, next is what we specify the plus symbol and ampersand m. Again, m is what? Expansion time variable. So, for that purpose we generate the specification e comma 1. Now, Next statement we process ampersand m set ampersand m plus 1. So, again we generate the specification for the for the expansion time variable. So, here we specify the e comma 1. e indicates it is the expansion time variable. 1 indicates entry number of that very symbol in the table. Now, next we specify the set statement. So, here we specify set 
नेक्स्ट वी जनरेट द स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर द एम पर्सन एम सो अगेन एम इज वॉट एक्सपांशन टाइम वेरिएबल सो इट विल स्पेसिफाई ई कॉमा वन वन इंडिकेट्स एंट्री नंबर ऑफ दैट टेबल एंट्री नंबर ऑफ दैट सिंबॉल इन द टेबल ई वी एन टैब नेक्स्ट वी स्पेसिफाई द प्लस सिंबॉल एंड नेक्स्ट वी स्पेसिफाई वन सिमिलरली वी प्रोसेस द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ए आई एफ एम पर्सन एम एन ई एन डॉट मोर so here for that statement we generate the code aif here ampersand m again it is a expansion time variable so here we specify e comma 1 any it is a not equal so here we specify not equal as it is n again n is a parameter so for that parameter we generate the specification in the form p comma hash n so here p indicates it is a parameter and hash n it is indicating the entry number of that parameter in the pn tab so here for that n we specify the specification p comma 2 next we generate the specification for the sequencing symbol so again we generate the specification for the sequencing symbol more so for the syntax is s comma hash n so s indicates it is a sequencing symbol and hash n it is indicating the entry number of that sequencing symbol in the given table ssn tab so here the more symbol it is the entry number of that more symbol is first so that's why here we specify first and the last statement we process is micro n statement so we write as it is so here in the micro definition table we store the micro body now next table we generate is sequencing symbol table so here we specify the mdt entry hash means what here in the micro definition table which statement is containing the sequencing symbol so here you you can see here you can see in the micro definition at the line number 28 it is containing the uh, sequencing symbol so that's why here we specify 28 now the next table we generate is the micro name table so here the first field is the name so the name of the micro is clear m now the second field is hash pp means number of positional parameters so there are two positional parameters are there for the given micro definition now the next field is hash kp it indicates number of keyword parameters so there is only one keyword parameter is there now the next field is hash ev so it indicates number of expansion time variables so again only single expansion time variable is there for the given micro definition next field is micro definition table pointer so here the micro definition table pointer is starting at the position 25 so here we specify 25 now the next field is the keyword parameter default table pointer so here the value is 10 at the entry number 10 the value will be stored and the last field is the sstp sequencing symbol table pointer so the value of that va pointer value is 5 so here we mention the 5 now after seeing the concept can you tell me when the definition of sequencing symbol is encountered an entry is added to dash the options are p and tab next keyword parameter default table next ssn tab sequencing symbol name table and the fourth sequencing symbol table pause the video and think about it the answer is we enter into the sequencing symbol name table these are the references thank you